Yeah, so I sold my Ender 3v3 SC and I decided to buy something newer and faster. So this is the improvement, of course. But after spending one hour or so mounting everything and placing everything where it should be, well, after the first power up, this happened. As you can see, it's a faulty display after waiting one week or, or such to be sent. So I raised the ticket because this is not something that you can fix, basically. It's something that you need to change because the, the display is physically faulty. So it took around 10 days since I raised the ticket until the replacement part arrived to my place. It depends on uh, how far you are from the, the warehouse. So yeah, 10 days it's not much. So unfortunately I didn't record the whole process but they are covering everything here in their wiki so as you can see you need just a screwdriver and an allen key which allen key which is already provided in the box a set of pliers and that's all you have to place the printer as you see here and you have to remove the connectors uh, from the bottom and one screw that is holding all the connectors regardless of the order you just have to remove everything and then you have 10 screws that you need to unscrew these two ones you will need an uh, allen key for them because so this one and also this one you need an allen key because they are um, more in-depth and you can't use a scroll driver that is thicker so you have to remove them this uh, this connector this cable from the display then you have these two screws remove and you should buy this metal thing and uh, push it toward the case and the rest you can just uh, pull it out so the display will, will detach. As you can see here, you need to push and pull in the same time the metallic part, and the display comes right off. The replacement comes with the plastic part included, and you basically have to attach the cable once again and put back the metallic part. And you have to bend it a little so you can screw the, the screws back. Push the cables, connect the, the screws again, connect the connectors. And that's pretty much it. This is the whole process. Takes more or less 10 minutes or so. Um, this is the result. Basically, now it is working. And I'm very happy after waiting 10 days. Uh, this is the faulty one and this is the replacement and this is the box that uh, where it came so this is the box keeping the display and also I got a roll of PLA basic filament as a thank you note or apologize note hope you've enjoyed this video see you in the next one cheers